Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0! Yay! We're back! Uh, we're starting off today in the VAB, because if our last set of missions was any indication, we are in dire need of a new lunar lander. Typically, I would like to do at least one mission with a lunar lander that doesn't have some sort of quirk or screw up or uh, something toppling over, etc. And I would also like to bring a crew of more than one to the moon. So uh, I'm going to get started with that. I'm going to probably speed uh, all of this up in post, but um, expect a commentary. So thanks. Right. So I had this idea where I was going to use a com uh, automated core and then couple two uh, capsules to it, as you're seeing now, to uh, make up for the fact that I don't have multi-crew carry capability yet. And all I have is this silly Mark I capsule. So uh, I'm just kind of fitting the bits together and trying to uh, close up some of the gaps. And now we're getting our RCS system on it. But this is uh, completely untried, unproven. I've never attempted something like this, and I have a feeling that weight is going to be a very serious issue. So, uh, just getting a couple of things tweaked, and getting sizes right. That's more for looks than for anything else. And now these two side can can yeah, these two side containers are going to be uh, multi tanks. They're not only going to have life support, but uh, fuel and wastewater disposal. Uh, at the end of it, which this is just a preliminary. I'm going to be doing some tweaking to it later. Uh, same thing with this paint job. I'm not a hundred percent on that, but you know, we'll see. Also, and since this is heavier, I've gone with two of the Lunar Lander Ascent Stage engines. I'm just kind of got to get a fairing and some Separatron motors, and we're going to be above our weight limit. So um, we're going to go with another computer core, just trying to get things sized. I would like to sit as low to the ground as possible, and hopefully be uh, relatively with a, a wide foot base so that we can land on stuff. Now, I am having a bit of an issue with the weight, but we'll, uh, we'll get back to that in a bit. So also, we have unlocked these micro landing struts, which I have sized up to 130% of their actual size in hopes that uh, they will eliminate all of the issues that I've been having with landing on the moon thus far. All right, we've got our landers on and tweaked. Now we're gonna get some science experimenty things going on here. A quick double check of our center of mass and center of thrust. All right, now I'm going back and editing these two side containers and trying to equal out the uh, life support. So all in all, I've got about 14 days of all the life support supplies. And we're gonna, for now, call it the uh, LEM Mark V and take it out to the launch pad for a little simulation. All right, and we're outside, and oh, all of our landing gear have broke. That's not nice. Well, it didn't tip over, right? Okay, RCS thrusters are all firing. Good. At least we know that part works. Uh, let's just make sure these aren't going to get... Uh, Unable to deploy because stowed. Good. Tuck you back away. All right. Well, um, yeah. Oh, that that wiggling is a problem. Yes, dance, dance. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe this isn't gonna work after all. Oh boy. All right, well, let me just try staging. Oh. Okay. That didn't work very well either. <laughs> I didn't expect it to. It's not designed for our higher gravity. It's designed to be used on the moon, so this isn't, shouldn't really be a huge thing. All right. Also, ignitions do not work when you're sideways. Let's get this thing back inside and make some changes. Okay, so uh, our landing legs failed. That's the first problem. Um, let's try upping the strength on these things. Maybe that'll do us some good. Uh, the downside here is that this lander weighs nearly 27 tons, 
That's up from uh, 13 and a half tons for the Mark 3.5 and 15 tons even for the Mark 4, which has never flown. I don't think I've ever actually showed you guys. Problem two, we should probably add some struts to see if we can't get rid of that uh, dance and wiggle. I'm sure that would cause a huge, huge problem later on. So just slap a couple of these on here real quick. Yeah, let's certainly tie this thing to this thing. All right, um, yeah, I should probably do another set up here towards the top to the probe core. That is our central part. I think that's going to be the strut that makes the most difference. And hopefully it doesn't send our weight profile over the top, because we're pretty close to our limit, really. All right, uh, what to do about these landing legs? Mm, all right, there they are. I guess we'll try to get a secondary set down here. And see what that can't do for us. All right, we gotta size them up. Nope, not that. All right, come on. Yep. Okay. Uh, what was it? One thirty. Crap, I don't remember. Uh, I think it was one thirty. Yeah, one thirty. Okay. All right, now let's get them into position. Nope. Okay, turn that part off. There you go. All right. That looks good. Right on the level. Awesome. Um, hmm. Really close margins. All right. Let's uh let's run the simulation again, see what we get. All right. And KJR do its thing. Yeah, they all break. Well, that's nice. That's well, it didn't tip over. That's a thing, right? Okay, well, engine test again. Yeah. We cannot forget to do the control from here on this probe core, or landing is going to be silly. <sighs> okay, well, yeah. We all knew that was going to happen. And the engine shut down. No, ooh, hey, come on now. That was just uncalled for. <laughs> what was that? Okay. Weird. Let's get it back inside. See if we can't figure this out. Okay, so, even eight landing legs here is just, uh, just not enough. Alright, well, just as a precaution, let's bring these values all the way up. Hmm. I'm kind of at a loss. Honestly. Like, I don't know what else I can really do to this thing to try to make these work better. Alright, let's, uh... Alright, let's bring it out there on the engine bell and then try to extend the legs and see if that doesn't do something different. Alright, so KJR will do its thing. There it is. Alright, gear out. And... Well, alright. I guess they're just... They're not going to hold the weight of a 30 ton capsule. That sucks. Alright, well, while we're here I need to test out the ladders and the ingrace, exgrace capabilities. So, oh, yeah, of course. Wrong one. My bad. Oh, never had two kerbals before. I'm going to have to move this to the side. Okay. Get out. Good job. Now, walk down the ladder. Uh, oh, okay. Phew. <laughs> As it dances in a slow circle. Awesome. All right. Well, the ladders work. That's good. And it looks like he'll be able to reach the science experiments on his side. The other side will be reachable from the ladder without too much issue. But uh, landing like this doesn't do us any good. Let's get it back inside. Okay, so... Uh, um, I might be out of ideas. Still got some wheeled options we could go to, although that worked absolutely horribly. 
I'm really trying to avoid that. Oh, airbags we can land on. I don't know how much good that's going to do us, though. Oh, hold on. Yes. We're not going to be coming down at 30 tons. We're going to be coming down almost empty of fuel on the bottom stage. I'm dumb. All right, let's see if this works. Okay. KJR, do your thing. Boink. Hit on the bell. Gear out. Oh, it works. We only lost, like, what, two? Yeah, those two on the inner side. Oh, dude. I'm really dumb. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> All right, well, um, I guess we're just going to have to touch down really soft and hope for the best, although I'm really hoping the likelihood of this rolling over is a lot less, you know, that angle between the engine bell and the fuel tank there is, uh, hopefully it won't roll past that and we'll still be at a positive angle to ascent if we need to. All right, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, Mars window coming up soon, so we're going to give our Norseman landers another shot. So uh, until then, thanks for hanging out. I will see all of you tomorrow. Till then, have a good one.